This is Mike Farley. We're in Colleyville, Texas tonight. We've got this awesome pool and it's all geared up for family and friends and kids. And so with lots of family and friends and kids, we want to make sure we have a safe situation. So this is a really cool fencing system. And this is kind of unique in this project is we have two different types of fencing systems. Usually there's only one type of fencing system. So over here where the yard uh, comes up to the edge of the pool, we have a wrought iron fence because quite honestly that fence is going to stay there for a long period of time to separate the kids play area from the pool area. However, when we have a large gathering and we want to open things up, this is a removable fence here. Uh, so we've got two different situations that work for access. So the nice thing with access is we, we can, without a gate mechanism, come in and you just squeeze the panels together and you can actually unclip this and pull this out fairly easily. Uh, however, with a lot of kids and family and trying to make something a little more secure and access these and out, so we may put a gate mechanism. So this gate mechanism is really cool in the fact it's a little tricky. You've got to push down then you've got to pull up and then you can open the gate. So, hard for an adult to figure out, which means it might be hard enough for a child not to figure out. Which, the whole thing about this is we want something that's safe. Now, the other thing is, these come in different colors. This is actually a mesh, uh, plastic mesh material, very similar to the screens on your house. Uh, and a lot of people think, well, black is the one that's gonna show up the most. Actually, black blends in better than white or brown does. So we want to make sure uh, that we have something that kind of disappears as much as possible. Uh, they come at different heights. Uh, so this is the most common one, which is a four foot height. There's a five foot height. And there's also a six foot height. Uh, so there is no requirement for safety to have a fence in between the house and the pool. But in this situation, we can come out of the door, uh, come into this area. We can walk down through the outdoor uh, kitchen area and outdoor living room area and go right to the grass area and we never come into the pool area from a safety standpoint. So that's nice peace of mind with people with young children is to have something that doesn't allow uh, the child to get into the pool area. We've got nice patio areas out here that we can function and never have to go into the pool space but we're gonna have a big party like tomorrow there's going to be a soccer party with you know, 20 little kids running around and everything, this fence could be removed if you wanted to. Now, one thing that I caution with small kids parties is a lot of times, that's the most critical time to keep the fence up. Uh, because there's a lot of adults moving around, a lot of kids, and you gotta keep your eyes on them all. Uh, that's maybe not the best time to remove it. But you know, if you have a gathering and it's all adults, then certainly it could be removed. Anyway, uh, something to think about from a safety standpoint, and safety is very, very important with swimming pools and water. Uh, and another safety tip that you may want to consider is teach your kids how to swim. Uh, that's an excellent thing to do with a swimming pool. Uh, and the sooner they know how to swim, the safer they're going to be. But this also offers a lot of safety to the non-family members that come over that may not know how to swim as well. Like my mom, she still doesn't know how to swim. Uh, this will keep her safe. So anyway, you have a great day. Uh, again, we're in Colleyville tonight. Uh, we're going to look at some awesome details about this pool, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, so we want to see how long it takes to take down the fence. They're going to time me. I'm not an expert at this by any means. Uh, so we'll get a realistic time schedule here. So all you have to do is squeeze the pieces together, flip it, and this will come out of its sleeve here, and we'll proceed around the, uh, the pool. section down. There we go. So we're ready for the adult party now. The fence is gone. We can freely walk back and forth. What we are left with is a few holes in the deck, uh, which we can slide the uh, fence back into fairly quickly. It took us about 
under eight minutes to get it all taken down. Probably take us a little longer than that, probably close to 10 minutes to put it back up. But the nice thing is it is, it is a flexible system that allows you uh, to use it how you need it. We have grandparents that the grandkids only come for two weeks out of the year, stays in the garage all year long, and then, oh, grandkids show up, we put it up. So, uh, or, you know, cousins or family or guests come over where we need some additional security. The system hasn't been used with our kids for years, but now we pull it back up for those events. So, anyway, an awesome system to consider uh, for safety with the kids' pool. So, you guys have a great evening. We'll talk to you soon.